हेलो एवरी वन सो आज आई प्रोमिस्ड अर्लियर दैट आई एल बी कमिंग अप विथ अ वीडियो रिगार्डिंग हाउ टू रिवाइज द कम्प्लीट सिलेबस इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज ऑफ द नीट प्रिपरेशन सो हियर इज द वीडियो नाव वी ऑल नो दैट आफ्टर द पी ओ एग्जामिनेशन आई मीन क्लास ट्वेल्व एग्जामिनेशन यू आर लेफ्ट विथ अराउंड फिफ्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी डेज ऑफ टाइम विच इज क्वाइट सफिशियंट टू प्रिपेयर बट द पॉइंट इज हाउ डू यू यूज दैट minimum amount of time in a very effective manner and how do you score maximum amount of marks in that minimum amount of time so the video is all about the effective ways or the strategy how exactly to complete the whole neat syllabus or how do you complete the neat biology syllabus in the last 40 or 45 days see i don't take much time here we just have three rules that's it as i've mentioned here as you can see it's only the three smart rules which you are supposed to use and if you follow these three smart rules then it's a challenge again guys you will be able to score 320 plus very easily all that is you have to follow these three rules so we'll just start up with the three smart rules now so the first rule is the revision plan how do you revise all the chapters of class 11 and class 12 biology of the need see we have around 16 chapters for class 11 for class 11 we have around 16 chapters and for the class 12 we have around 22 chapters which is totally 38 chapters now how do you revise effectively these 38 chapters very very simple way again just divide these three uh, these 38 chapters into three groups the three groups are first one is which is a very perfect or easy chapters see out of these 38 chapters every student will be having some chapters as the as the easy chapters or the perfect chapters right so said i mean uh, keep those chapters in one group and then the second one second one it is the moderate chapters i mean moderately difficult so such chapters in the second group and then third one is tough or slightly confusing chapters confusing chapters so these are the three groups now coming to the first one here the first one that is perfect or easy group how many chapters fall in that group see that perfectly so what you have to do here is pick such chapters which are perfect and easy and just go through the ncert see you might be having various materials like other uh, study materials or maybe you might be having um, some standard versatile books okay so you might be having many material but trust me guys you might when you are perfect already and when the chapter is easy for you guys because since you have studied all these chapters for your class 12th examination so most of the class 12th chapters may fall in this group however coming to the class 11 in that also you you might get some easy chapters right so all such easy chapters just to go through the ncert take the ncert read the ncert line by line okay and then just solve the mcqs ncert line by line and then mcqs don't go for any study material your class notes whatever it is because upon all the material you you uh, find in the world one best material one standard material is the ncert textbook so when you are perfect with the chapter just go with the ncert and then the mcqs that's it then second one second group perfect and easy is the first group moderate group for the moderate group what is supposed to do here is see these are the chapters wherein you have studied them well but they are slightly confusing or they may seem moderately difficult for you guys so for that what you are supposed to do here is again ncert okay now 
apart from the ncrt if you have your class notes then just refer the class notes guys this is a time where you are not supposed to touch any new material mark my words i'm repeating it again and again don't go for any new material this time is for the revision this is not for this is not the time where you have to study some new material and gain the knowledge no this is the time for the revision how betterly you revise that amount of marks you will be able to score so again ncrt and notes here for the perfect and easy chapters there's no need of notes because when you go on solving these mcqs here when you go on solving these mcqs then automatically you will be able to uh, memorize or you will be able to understand and analyze if there are any new concepts okay then so this is for the moderate ncrt notes and again of course mcqs then coming to the tough and the confusing thing so here in this group again take i mean uh, just separate these chapters into two groups see whichever have got more weightage among this group if there are any chapters which have more weightage in the neat then just read the ncrt of those chapters first complete those chapters and if time remains if time permits then the second group which we have so for those there is no need of reading the complete chapter or complete notes or whatever you will be having some highlighted areas there see when you are studying for the uh, class 12 or class 11 examination board examination so at that time you you might have marked already what is important and what is not important right so whatever is important only just study those things for these chapters however if the weightage is more there is no other choice you will have to go for the ncrt but if the weightage is less then i mean hardly you will see some questions from that chapter then such chapters just just highlighted points important points just revise those things and leave it off okay so this is how you have you uh, how how you are supposed to revise the bio not only for the bio actually this works for any subject but however uh, since i teach bio i'm just giving you the hints for the bio examination okay but mark my words guys uh, this works well for all the subjects okay so this is the first smart rule which you have to follow the revision plan revision plan is very very important guys and probably it's only 40 days which is left for you and one more thing why i have uh, why why i had written something like this 45 into 2 per day isn't it so there are 45 days totally and two questions per day will make up 90 so what does this mean which i had shown the previous slide see very simple if your preparation is so effective okay if the if the for last 45 days preparation is very effective then if from one day preparation out of one day preparation if you get two really good questions then it will take you up to the 90 questions your preparation should be such effective that see at least some two or three chapters you will be able to solve per day isn't it so you sh your preparation should be at that level that out of that uh, chapter if two questions were there then you should be able to crack those two questions there should not be any uh, mistakes committed there or there should not be any reasons given there so if your preparation is really good then out, like out of 45 days if if you consider two questions per day then it will take you up to the 90 questions so guys be very very uh, cautious when you revise so make a proper uh, way of revising the whole syllabus first distribute the chapters in this three uh, methods or three groups that is perfect or easy group moderate group and the confusing group or tough group and then start with the preparation so this is the first rule let's go to the second rule now the second rule is solving the mcqs what is this again uh, we spoke about this in the last slide also right then why i am speaking separately about this see 
the one which i spoke about in the last video that is all about solving the mcqs according to the chapter for example we have a chapter called as photosynthesis so uh, all that you have to do is you will be having the question papers related to the photosynthesis which you have solved in your colleges or coaching centers wherever it is right just take out that question paper and repeat it so or otherwise if you have any other standard material or something then just take it out and solve the mcqs of that chapters which you have studied on that day okay so that is what i spoke in the last video now what is this again separately solving mcqs that is one neat paper per day see you may feel uh, you have not uh, completed all the chapters uh, i mean all the chapters revision is not done yet and how to solve the neat paper isn't it you may uh, get this one doubt but see you have already studied for the class 12th examination and you are done with the class 1 revision also isn't it so somewhere in your uh, all through the academic year you might have already gone through the first year syllabus also so you are complete first class one a class 11 and class 12 revision is done so in that case when you see the question paper when you solve the question paper there are chances that you may you may remember the concept when you see the question there and then you may try to answer it again so again there is a chance of re revising the concepts in the way of a question paper in the mode of a question paper right so take it very seriously fix some time for like every day and i prefer the end of the day that is maybe around 6 to 9 in the evening or maybe some 5 to 8 in the evening 5:30 to 8:30 in the evening after the preparation complete preparation so make some give some time for the bio give some time for physics and then for the chemistry and then by end of the day okay by end of the day pick some time that should be done every day pick some time and solve one neat paper and you will find n number of neat model question papers even in the nta website or uh, many sources are there so online also you will be able to find many neat question papers so pick some 40 40 question papers 35 to 40 question papers and do this till the end of the day 7th may is your examination right so do this up to the 6th may up to 6 may without fail you are supposed to solve one neat paper per day see why i'm stressing this so much is one neat paper per day means almost you will be able to solve around 40 question papers isn't it 40 question papers is not a joke guys so trust me if you solve these 40 question papers this will help you enormously this will help you like anything in the main examination you may get some repeated questions or uh, while while solving the question you may uh, understand some concepts also and those concepts may help you in solving the real neat i mean this year's neat examination isn't it and the same time you will be able to manage the time so exactly keep three hours only okay keep three hours for um, in every day especially in the evenings and take up that time for solving one neat paper per day mark my words guys this is gonna help you like anything see i'm telling you these with my old students experience so one neat paper per day will help you like anything after the examination you will understand what was the importance of solving one neat paper per day this is the second smart rule third rule and very simple and very uh, small rule the third rule is consistency so what is this consistency the previous two rules which i spoke about that is the revision plan and solving the mcqs those should be done consistently consistently is every day without fail see just doing this for some four or five days and then leave it off this will not at all work guys so if you are remaining with some 40 days then just do it for all the 40 days so that is called as the consistency consistency is one thing which will really help you out in the examination so at least out of 40 days 
if i mean leaving the emergency okay if there if there is really some emergency then it is fine or else don't don't leave this specially solving mc mcqs one neat question paper per day that is really really important guys so consistency is very very important so that my third smart rule is the consistency if you consistently follow the first and second rule then you are just in front of your good and superb marks okay then one more thing which i would suggest would, would like to suggest for the last five or uh, probably last week of your examination see one thing what many students does is when they are in the last five four five days or in the last week of the examination they uh, they rush up like anything i mean they'll try to uh, search new sources as much as possible they they'll just try to explore new uh, new books or new question papers at that time no don't do that that's a very wrong thing don't go for any new material don't go for any new sources nothing okay revise what you have studied be perfect in what you have already studied because if you keep on reading everything and if you are perfect with nothing then definitely you will not be able to score any number of marks isn't it so whatever whatever you have studied be perfect with that you should be able to crack every single question from the syllabus which you have covered that is called as a preparation so the last 5 7 days of the examination what you are supposed to do so here pick up some important chapters okay some important chapters every class 11 class 12 will be will be having some important chapters weighted chapters pick up those chapters and just see if there are any important all the all the three all the three subjects i'm speaking about physics chemistry and bio okay so any important uh, equations or any important uh, reactions in the chemistry or important formulas in the physics or in important diagrams or some important sentences important points paragraphs in the scientists names some uh, values all those things okay so all those should be glanced in the last 5 days so last 5 or at least last 4 or 3 days at least don't even try to read anything new okay so it you may feel anyways i have three days let me complete this one chapter also or this one concept also no because you have to revise everything which you have studied in this 40 days that is very very important guys if you don't revise it at the end of the time then you won't be able to solve a single question in the examination so what you do is last 5 uh, days if possible 7 days if not 5 days or else at least some 3 days okay last 3 days just take up all the important chapters and just glance at once keep glancing everything the formulas important scientist names years and like match the following you will be able to guess a few match the following such match the following some important sentences points and values or formulas reactions in the chemistry so diagrams and all okay so just revise such things and while solving all these question papers i mean as i uh, informed one neat question paper per day there you may see some concepts which might have repeated many a times i see so 40 days means you may at least solve you may get a chance at least to solve some 35 question papers out of those 35 question papers you may notice some concepts in all the three subjects which might have repeated many a times so such concepts should be uh, i mean revised or glanced once again in the last 3 or 4 days so this is also one important thing which you have to remember guys so this is all about the three smart rules which i had devised to score maximum marks in the neat biology and of course if you uh, consider this for other two subjects then also it is going to work out but however if you have any other best strategy for those two subjects and just just go ahead with it but for bio this i think this will be the best as per my knowledge anyways guys all the best study well and if there is any doubt or if you need anything then just message me in the comment section okay so with the hope that this is going to help much of the students i'll end up the today's video all the best to everyone guys thank you